Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is the peace of God. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body and be thankful. The peace of God is to rule in our hearts, not the fear of the world, not the evil in the world, not the fear of disease and disaster and death and decay. No, the peace of God is to rule our hearts. Our hearts must be in peace and we must know the God of peace for our hearts to be in peace. The Bible tells us that if we do the will of God, God's peace will be with us and God will not fail us as we continue to do his will. If we read Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 tells us that we need to meditate on things that are pure, that are holy, that are true, that are good, and all of that. And then in verse 9, we read, it says, Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. In other words, as we do the will of God, as we follow purity, as we follow righteousness, the peace of God will be with us. Whether we are in a dungeon, whether we have nothing to eat the next morning, the peace of God. Because you know that God will not abandon his own. He has said, he said, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, you read verses 5 and 6. God has promised that he will not leave us. And so you have this peace that comes with the will of God, doing the will of God. If you find yourself in some troublous situation, some situation that is disturbing your heart, all you need to do is to come to God and allow him to bless your heart. Allow him to give you his peace. And when you do that, you will begin to know. Now, in a time of trouble or whatever storm is coming upon your life you need to have an attitude you need to have this attitude of depending on god when you have this attitude of depending on god the peace of god will follow you let me read to you quickly from verse 6 of philippians chapter 4 we will read verses 6 and 7 and the bible tells us it says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god and the peace of god which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through jesus christ and of quote it says in everything in other words whatever comes your way The only thing you need to do is to, by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. So when you are in the habit or attitude of prayer, every time bringing everything that comes your way to God and you are doing the will of God, the peace of God will attend your life. Let us begin to pray for the peace of God. Father, we give you glory, we worship you, we praise you. There is none holy as you, there is none beside you. Lord, our God, O God of peace, the God who gives peace to his children, we pray that you will be with us today. What is it that troubles your child today? Lord, I pray that you will speak to that situation and cause peace to rule over the heart of your child. I pray for your son today. I pray that peace will be his portion. I pray for your daughter. I pray that the peace of God will overflow in the heart. Lord, help us today and take all the glory. We just praise you. We worship you. We thank you for this moment of power, this moment in which 
peace is beginning to flood our souls because of you, because of your grace, because you are a God of peace. Take all the glory, take all the honor. Thank you for granting us your peace. Thank you because in spite of our frailties and failings, Lord, you are assuring us today that your peace will be in our hearts. Thank you. Help us to be conquerors. Help us to conquer fear because we have a God that is bigger than every situation in our lives. Praise you, Father. Today we pray, Lord. We bring everything to you from, Lord, your providence to your protection. We have faith in what you have promised. And we pray that you will bless us. Take all the glory and honor. We need your power, your miracles in our lives today. Lord, the fact that you have promised, we know that you will perform. And that's what brings peace to our hearts even right now. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.